Hi everyone and welcome back to Elevate Her. I'm your host Jess Mars and today's topic is all about when you feel lost and confused, what do you do? So let's just dive straight into it. I was feeling like this, I would probably say January, which is funny because that's when my journey with Christ really started. That's when I was really focusing on reading the Bible more, praying more, going to church, all that kind of stuff. And it's funny that that's when I felt the most lost and confused. I remember saying to my sister, I don't even know what I'm doing in my life. Is this what I want to do? Is this my career path? I'm not sure. I just felt very uncertain. And now when I look back at it, the reason I was so uncertain is because I was in a new path. I was starting something new. And usually when you start something new, it's kind of scary. And you have no idea what's going to happen. You don't know if this is a good or bad thing. You don't know where this journey is going to lead you. You don't know if the things that you liked before and how well you're doing before is going to happen now. So you have this level of uncertainty, which makes you feel lost. And usually when you feel lost, you want to go back to your old ways. You want to go back to the comfort zone of knowing when you're struggling for money, knowing that you can't pay bills, knowing that you have no one next to you by your side. All, all these things come to play because that's what makes you comfortable. Hence feeling lost and confused. Now, a few things that I heard that really, really resonated with me, and I'm sure that it will resonate with you if you're feeling this as well. When you feel lost, it's actually a blessing because you know something is changing in your life. Think of it like this. If you knew every single thing that was going to happen in your life, you knew where your path was going to go, you knew when you were going to get married, you knew when you were going to have kids, when you were going to succeed, if, when you were going to die, everything life would be very different. It would it'd be kind of boring because you're like, I know everything. What, what else is there? Whereas when you'd have no idea what's happening and you are kind of confused and you're like, okay, I don't even know if this is the path I'm going to go on. I like it, but I don't know how much I love it. I'm just going to give it a shot and whatever happens, happens. It's nerve wracking. Hence the feeling lostness. So I think it's actually a blessing because we don't know. We feeling lost is actually beautiful because I think of this as an analogy. Say you're on a ship and you're in the middle of the ocean. You have no idea where you're going. You've probably only sailed once and you're, you're driving this ship and you're like, okay, I'm just going to keep going left because something's telling me to go left. I'm lost. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going to keep going until I see something. And because you trusted your intuition and you never gave, you never gave up faith and you had this love and trust in God and yourself and the world you ended up in this beautiful magical island where things that you couldn't even imagine were there that's kind of what I feel like when you feel lost you should be excited because you're like I don't know what's gonna happen but I know it's gonna be great because remember life is good for us and God I was gonna say Jesus and God wants us to have the best life so you just know when you feel feeling lost you're like mm, okay i'm excited because i don't know what's happening but there's a new transition in my life when you feel lost is when you're changing it doesn't just happen out of nowhere it's when you're transitioning and it's usually when you're transitioning hopefully for the better so with me it was when i was transitioning to be closer to jesus I started to feel lost, I started to feel confused and the devil tries to chime in your head and be like, okay, she's feeling like this, let me feed into it and show her how good life was before she had her faith, how good life can be if she does this or how this can keep going wrong so then you can go back into your old ways. Whereas when you just keep soldiering on into the ship and just keep sailing, you end up in this gorgeous, amazing place that you had no idea you would be. But it's only if you go through it. If you, if you feel lost and confused and you just sit there and you're like, okay, I have no idea where I'm going to be. I don't know what I'm going to do. Life sucks. I'm going to just continue to do nothing. I'm going to continue to do everything that I was doing before. Even though it wasn't working, that's just how it is. No, 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 no. Take that, scrunch it up and throw it away. Never to be found again. <laughs> I am such a big believer that we are designed to change. That is the whole point of human beings, to change. Life to me is a memory and it's normal to go through this. Remember that life is like an uphill battle. Think of a mountain. There's a lot of analogies here. Think of a mountain. When you're going up this mountain, there's going to be little dips. 
It's not just a complete straight mountain. There are little holes, little dips, but you're still going up. You're going to keep going up if you don't stop. But if you look back and you think, oh my gosh, it was so much easier walking down there. Maybe I'll just go back there and rest. You do that for five minutes, right? You sit, five minutes only. Five minutes turns into 10 minutes. 10 minutes turns into a day. A day turns into a week. A week turns into a year. And then guess what? Now you're lost forever. And now you're in the middle of the ocean on this. I'm, I'm going jumping from analogies here. But you're in the middle of the ocean because you don't know what to do. You're freaking out. So you stay put. And then guess what? That's when the waves take you to wherever it leads you. You don't have any trust. You don't believe enough in yourself to go somewhere, to take the leap, to take the direction. And you're never going to get to the island. You're never going to get to the top of the mountain. Why are we feeling bad and sad when we feel lost and confused? That should be probably the happiest thing ever because we're so unsure of everything that we're like, okay, cool. Let's just go with the fresh face. Let's just be happy and see where the, see where the world wants to take us. See where you want to take us, God. Because our, in our minds, it's only, we can only think so much, but there's a higher power up there and it has a bigger and better plan for us. So when you feel lost and confused, this is what I do. First of all, when you wake up, I know it can feel, look, it can feel bad. Okay. I didn't work for about a few days. I took a few days off. I just kind of went for walks. I spent time in nature. I just needed to Zen out because it's very it, jail, physical jail is I'm sure it's bad, but mental jail is probably the, the worst thing that you could ever be caught in because the only way you can escape it is from yourself. So let's get out of the mental jail and go for a walk. But when you wake up, be excited that you have no idea what's going to happen. I am like, you wake up and think, ah, today's a new day. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm sure something great is going to happen. I could literally go to the shops, go to Coles or Woolies and when I'm there, I could meet someone that could help me in my career or I could just make someone's day or someone could make my day or you don't, you never know. There's so much that can happen in a day, but we think that because we have a plan and schedule that that's exactly how it's going to happen. But there's always little, little things happening in there. And those are the little things that lead into big things. So be excited for those little things. Be excited to be lost because when you're lost, usually you find yourself again, you're found, but you have to enjoy that time and I know it sounds weird and even when I was saying it to myself I'm like this is weird and I feel I feel nervous I don't even know what my body's feeling right now but it's exciting it's exciting because something's changing something's happening I can only imagine for mums when they're pregnant they're scared and they're like I don't know I feel lost because I don't know like I'm gonna have a baby but how do I raise it blah 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 there's no actual manual how to raise a baby every baby's different but guess what 80% of them do a great job because look at us all. Okay. <laughs> so after you wake up in the morning, you're excited about the, the things that are going to happen today. Mind you, we're tricking our brain to, to work for us. You never want something to work against you. Everything that's designed in our body, in our mind, our phone, our camera, everything is designed for us. Just remember that. Okay. We are in control. So after you do that, I want you to don't go on your phone how to say that don't go on your phone i know it's easier said than done but do it okay back in my day <laughs> i'm not that old but back in my day we didn't have phones in the mornings and night we had fun doing weird stuff and that was really exciting because you get to use your imagination okay so i would highly recommend reading in the morning simulate simulate your mind without using a phone if you can't and you don't want to that's fine Go outside, literally sit in your backyard because you know your front yard, you don't want people to see you, I get it. Sit in your backyard and literally just look at the sky. Focus on something, anything, and just think at how incredible that is. Sometimes I do that with trees. I literally look at a tree and I'll be like, you have been here for I don't even know how many years. Imagine what you have seen. You know how they say like trees, some trees that have been around for 100 years. Ah, pardon? Talk about the generational line. It just makes you feel so grateful and shows you how little this life is, how insignificant really everything is. Nothing actually matters. So it kind of puts life in a funny perspective because you're like, I'm out here worrying about my life, but like what actually matters? In 10 years time, I'll be in a whole different point in my life. 
which leads me to my next point, which was actually really funny. So I'm going to tell you the story because I, I love it. I was thinking about 10 years ago when I was in school and I remember, you know how you can write down, <laughs> you can write down where you want to, where you see yourself in 10 years. And I wrote, ha ha ha, I wrote <laughs> married with two or three kids. That's what I wrote. I didn't even know what I wanted to do in my life. Let's be real. And I looked at that and I laughed because I was like, I'm nowhere near that. But that's where I thought I would be. How funny is life? But if I had that, I wouldn't be where I am now. So it's so funny how life happens, right? And then I had to go do something to my car. Guess, guess where I drove past, which I have not seen in years, like probably six years, seven years. I drove past my old school. Oh my God, when I tell you the flashbacks. And the reason I'm telling you this story is as I was driving and I saw that, <laughs> I started laughing because all these memories kept flooding in and I'm telling you my heart just exploded with love because it was such a great time. I'm grateful now but it was such a funny time looking back because you wish you could tell your younger self so much, right? But I realized when I was in school, I still had these worries. I still had this unsureness. I was still lost. I, I had no idea what I wanted to do after school. Everyone had an idea, teacher. This, I was like, I don't know. I want to do something fun and I don't want to learn. I hated uni. I didn't even enjoy school. I went for my friends and my mum forced me. But I never was like, yay, I want to go to uni. It was more like an aesthetic thing if I went, right? But I really believe that when you look back at things like that, you realize at that point of time, you were also worried about something else. You were also lost. But look at how life worked out for you. So just remember that right now, is this going to matter in five years? Probably not. You're going to probably look back at this and be like, what was I worried about? Right? So just kind of remind yourself sometimes like about little things. It doesn't have to always be looking at the past, but sometimes looking at the past helps you to see that there is a future. Right? And lastly, I just want to remind you that feeling lost, I feel like it's a human thing. It's normal. Don't always be like, I shouldn't be feeling like this. Why do I feel like this? Don't beat yourself up. Talk kindly to yourself. Do something that makes you excited. I love talking about things that excite me, like my future or things that are happening right now. Do that. It actually has been scientifically proven that it stimulates your mind and it releases endorphins. That is incredible, right? So do that. Have someone to go out with or even sit at home and do something that's fun for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are feeling lost, trust me, there's a light under the tunnel. I hope this video has helped you because it helped me when I was feeling lost for about a month. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>